Welcome to the St. Michael Easter podcast series. My name is Ken Brannan, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this Easter is Big Love. God's holy work is fulfilled in the resurrection of Christ, the defeat of death itself. We have received the gift of new life, and we can use that gift to spread God's big love to those near and far. Joining Christians everywhere during this Easter season, we proclaim with joy, Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. A reading from Daniel, chapter 3, verses 1 through 18. King Nebuchadnezzar made a golden statue whose height was 60 cubits and whose width was 6 cubits. He set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then King Nebuchadnezzar sent for the satraps, the prefects, and the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the justices, the magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces to assemble and come to the dedication of the statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. So the satraps, the prefects, and the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the justices, the magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces assembled for the dedication of the statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. When they were standing before the statue that Nebuchadnezzar had set up, the herald proclaimed aloud, You are commanded, O peoples, nations, and languages, that when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, and entire musical ensemble— You are to fall down and worship the golden statue that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship shall immediately be thrown into a furnace of blazing fire. Therefore, as soon as all the people heard the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, and entire musical ensemble, all the peoples, nations, and languages fell down and worshipped the golden statue that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Accordingly, at this time, certain Chaldeans came forward and denounced the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. You, O king, have made a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, and entire musical ensemble shall fall down and worship the golden statue. And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be thrown into a furnace of blazing fire." There are certain Jews whom you have appointed over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These pay no heed to you, O king. They do not serve your gods, and they do not worship the golden statue that you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar in furious rage commanded that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought in. So they brought those men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods, and you do not worship the golden statue that I have set up. Now if you are ready, when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, drum, and entire musical ensemble, to fall down and worship the statue that I have made, well and good. But if you do not worship, you shall immediately be thrown into a furnace of blazing fire. And who is the God that will deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, We have no need to present a defense to you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the furnace of blazing fire and out of your hand, O king, let him deliver us. But if not, be it known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods and we will not worship the golden statue that you have set up. Here ends the reading. Some biblical readings are just too good to skip. And today's lesson from Daniel is one of them. Many of us remember this story from our childhood, listening in wonder as three faithful Jews refuse to worship an idol, are thrown into a blazing fire, and come out unscathed. That's real religious imagination for you. But the story is not just for children. It's for faithful people of God in every age. There are always going to be pressures in the world around us. Pressures to worship what is not God. Pressures to regard political leaders as more than human. Pressures to march to a different drummer. But as followers of Christ and religious descendants of the Jews, we are clear that there is one God who deserves our worship, praise, and fealty. Worshiping anything other than that one true God is idolatry. In today's story, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon makes an immense golden statue and instructs his leaders to fall down and worship whenever they hear the music play. 
the people do so blindly and obediently. But word comes to the king that there are Jews who do not follow the king's command. They do not serve other gods, and they do not worship the golden statue. Enraged, the king calls for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and commands them to fall down before the statue, or they will be thrown into a furnace of blazing fire. Many of us know how the story ends. The three are thrown into the furnace of fire and come out unscathed, revealing to the king who the real God is. But it's their trusting response that I want to focus on today. They make it clear that their trust is in God, even if they are killed in the fire. That's remarkable. O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to present a defense to you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the furnace of blazing fire and out of your hand, O king, let him deliver us. But if not, be it known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods and we will not worship the golden statue that you have set up. Wow. Complete trust and faith, regardless of whether they live or die. It sounds like someone we know. Jesus put his whole trust and love in God, even as the cross loomed before him. Even when all seemed lost, he surrendered into those almighty arms and allowed God to accomplish the work of Easter. There are many pressures around us today. There are many calls to heed this or revere that. Just remember, there is only one true God, and regardless of what happens to the body, God will preserve our souls unto everlasting life. Amen. Please join with me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.